There have been studies that show that long-term excessive work hours, kind of like what Americans yep. have, mm-hmm. result in a significant productivity drop. And that's not a mental health outcome, but that's still that's that's economic. Right. And and what is interesting, I have a husband that has a type of job where he works insane hours. Like when about that statistic of working more than 40 hours a week, like I think that there have been weeks where he has worked close to double that, right? And what's interesting is he always does his job with excellence. Like I can proudly say that about my husband, right? But there are moments where he says, like my work product suffers because I just don't have time and I'm exhausted, which means when, you know, when you're when your brain is deprived of sleep and rest, it's less acute. Like it, it's not able to pay as close attention to detail. And so things fall through the cracks. So that's where it begins to be this like backward way of thinking, like, oh, I've got these employees that all work these really great hours and they work so hard and we're getting so much done. And it's like, yeah, but but the the excellence with which that's done is, I bet you, is reduced. Well, he, listen to this. There have been studies that show that ideas generated at work post-vacation are more diverse than those generated pre-vacation. So take some time off, you come back fresh mind, and you are better at coming up with new ideas. But doesn't that make so much sense? Sure, but it's nice that the science actually yeah, shows that. Yeah, backs it up. Like it's like that makes so much sense to me. So yeah, yeah th- so there's been studies that show that participation and leisure activities help maintain mental health under adverse life conditions. So those people that we learned about in the case stories that are really struggling, you get them some downtime, it will help. So we, so in DBT, I feel like I'm I'm constantly like plugging. And DBT stands for dialectical behavior therapy. Dialectics, two things can be true. Um, but we we love our acronyms in DBT. So, I mean, hence DBT, right? Okay, so um, one of them that we have is called ABC Please. And so it's a way like A, B, C, then the word please, right? It's a way for people to remember. But A is accumulating positive experiences, right? That's what the A stands for. And it's rooted in this idea that increasing positive experiences, which you would assume would then come with positive emotions, then decreases a person's vulnerability to negative emotions and negative experiences. So it's the idea of of creating like a reservoir, right? Like why do we create reservoirs and dams so that in a time of drought or in a time of stress, we we have resources, right? So there's so much research to support that if I increase my positive experiences, positive emotions, which is different for everybody, right? Which is why like what you engage in to create that margin or rest is going to be very personal to you. But if you have it and then something happens, you get hit with a tough like circumstance, like the reporter who who witnessed the accident or the, the CPA who picked up the new crazy client, right? These things hit and it's not that they don't impact you. It's not that you don't feel them. It's not that you're like, oh man, that's awful or that's a lot of work I wasn't expecting. But what it is, is I've got this reservoir of positive experiences, positive emotions built up that I can then tap into and say, oh, okay, I'm going to be less vulnerable to this then putting me in a position where I have that negative, where I'm I'm more predis- you know, I'm more exposed to, to, to depression, circumstantial depression, right? Or PTSD or something like that because I've got more built up goodness. And let me just insert some some research there. There's actually some some studies that have shown that rumination, mm-hmm. this idea that you're just you're dwelling on negative things mm-hmm. and, and that drives anxiety, drops during vacations and stays low even two weeks post vacation. So oh, isn't that interesting? Yeah. So that's exactly that accumulating positive experience mm-hmm. from from the ABC. Yeah. It, it seems like such common sense. And there's this part of me, like maybe it hits too close to home because I see my husband's burnout a little bit. But it, why are we not societally doing something we about should, yeah. we should? I mean, yeah. it's it's really uncanny, like leaders in in, in the world of, of work, like examples, like you think of these powerhouses of companies like, you know, Google. We got to let go of this notion of work hard, play hard. Right. Or the. Yeah. I mean, it's. That's right. not what produces happiness. Okay, so so.